Yo, what's going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? How are you doing out there today? We're here with another reaction. Gonna be checking out for the first time Harry Chapman. Uh Chapman. Harry Chapman. Okay. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So um there's been a request from Harry, uh Cat in the Cradle, I think it's called. And I've definitely heard uh parts of that song before. Haven't ever sat down and heard uh the whole thing and don't even know what the song is actually about. So I'm excited to do that one eventually, but I saw this one. Uh, requested a lot a better place to be so i figured i'd start with this one because it's one that i don't know anything about where cat in the cradle i've heard the chorus right cat in the cradle i i can't actually even say all the words to it but i know the jingle of that one so i'm excited maybe i'll do that one next um and let me know if y'all want me to do studio or the live version what this one we'll be jumping into is harry chapin uh a better place to be let's go ahead and jump into this one and see what we're getting this is probably the favorite thing of mine, uh, at least to me, that I've written, and uh, it's about a small town upstate New York called Watertown, New York. That's more than it deserves. Uh, I, uh, I spent a week there one afternoon, and uh, <laughs> I came away with this story, which is a rather, well, strange tale of a, of a little midnight watchman. Uh, a, a rotund waitress and a girl he picks up one night and it's called A Better Place to Be. Okay. It was an early morning barroom and the place just opened up and the little man came in so fast and they started at his cups and the broad who served the whiskey she was a big old friendly girl who tried to fight her empty nights by smiling at the world and she said hey bub it's it's been a while since you've been around where the hell you've been hiding and why you look so down well the little man just sat there like he'd never heard a sound the waitress she give out with a cough and acting not the least put off she spoke once again she said i don't want to bother you Consider it's understood I know I'm not no beauty queen But I sure can listen good <laughs> And the little man took his drink in his hand And he raised it to his lips He took a couple of sips And then he told the waitress this story The midnight watchman down in Miller's Tool and Die. And I watch the metal rusting. I watch the time go by. A week ago at the diner, I stopped to get a bite. And this here lovely lady, she sat two seats from a right. was all right yeah, all right you Watch see me. she was so damn beautiful that she could warm a winter frost but she looked long past lonely and well i found her lost now i'm not much of a mover or a pick em up easy guy but i decided to glide on over and give her one good try And Lord, Lord, Lord Lord, Lord, Lord She was worth a try Oh man, he's crushing When I was tongue-tied like a schoolboy I stammered out some words It did not seem to matter much 
much Cause I don't think she heard She just looked clear on through me To a space back in my head It shamed me in the silence As quietly she said If you want me to come with you Then that's all right with me Cause I know I'm going nowhere And anywhere's a better place to be Ooh. Poor girl, okay, let's hear it Man, is telling a fantastic story here In song form Anywhere's a better place to be Well, I drove on to my boarding house And I took her up to my room And I went to turn on the only light To brighten up the gloom But she said, please leave the light off Oh, I don't mind the dark And as her clothes all tumbled round her I could hear my heart This is interesting The moonlight shone upon her As she lay back in my bed It was the kind of scene I only had imagined in my head I just could not believe it To think that she Real. And as I tried to tell her, she said, Shh, I know just how you feel. And if you want to come here with me, then that's all right with me. Cause I've been oh so lonely. Loving someone is a better way to be. Wow. Alright, so how does he wind up in this bar alone? Let's see. He's pretty out of it at the beginning of the story, so... It all sounds good. Anywhere's a better place to be. did not want to share her or dare to break the mood so before she woke I went out to buy us both some food uh oh I came back with my paper bag to find that she was gone she'd left a six word letter Saying it's time that I moved on. Mm. She's a wanderer. Gave him the best night of his life in a long time. But she's a wanderer. You know the waitress, she took her bar rag and she wiped it across her eyes. And as she spoke, her voice came out as something like a sigh She said, I wish that I was beautiful Or that you were halfway blind oh. <laughs> And I wish I weren't so goddamn fat I wish that you were mine mm. And I wish that you'd come with me When I leave for home Know all about emptiness right. and living all alone. And the little man looked at the empty glass in his hand and he smiled a crooked grin. He said, I I'm 
better place to be. Wow. Wow. What a storyteller. What a storyteller. Jeez, dude, that story just evolved. And it was great. It was, that was a great journey. So I've, I found that interesting that throughout life, and maybe some of you have experienced it, is that sometimes you'll fall for somebody and you have your eyes on them and, and you just, you know, are focused over there. But there's somebody over here that maybe likes you back and maybe you don't feel the same way. But you're looking this way. That person's probably looking this way. That person's looking this way. And, you know, at times there could be somebody right beside you who is eyeing you the way you're eyeing that person. Uh, and you all feel hopeless and, and they feel hopeless in the next person they're looking at. But th this song, I mean, it really just painted the picture um, different, right? It's uh, this guy's at a bar. He's sad. The waitress obviously cares about him, wants him to open up. And she ends up becoming that here that he can lean into. And, uh, of course, he's been experiencing a lot of loneliness and this woman helped him have one night um, to remember, really. And I knew as soon as he left in the morning, I was like, she's going to be gone. Um, but she gave him a night that, you know, might turn uh, his depression around or, or the, the loneliness, the sadness that he was feeling. But in reality, it kind of sunk him deeper because he thought he had something maybe that was going to be tangible uh, that wasn't. And by going to the bar that night, Maybe he found that with somebody else, but I don't know. You know, it kind of left uh, it left a cliffhanger there at the end. So what if he ends up doing to her what he just had to done to him? So you don't know how the story is going to end, right? He could either be that one night of romance for her and he's gone in the morning. Or maybe he realizes, hey, this is something that's tangible. She clearly has interest in him. He's maybe not going anywhere because he's the watch, the night watchman for like that area. Um, so maybe they can have something together, right? Maybe that one door closing opened up another door for him and one that's going to create happiness for both of them. So, man, can Harry tell a story, though? That had me engaged the whole way through, man. I was tuned in. Like, where is this going? So really cool, and I didn't expect that ending either. So that just lets you know, man, when the story got to a point to where I could predict the next step, such as her walking out, uh, you know, the chick that he was with that night walking out, well, he gave me another turn to the story, another twist in the story at the end there. So I'm happy that maybe they're both not lonely anymore. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, so from what I could see on this song, it was written in 1972. Harry Chapman said this was his favorite song that he ever wrote at at least the time that was documented, uh, that this was his favorite song that he ever wrote. Found it pretty, pretty freaking interesting and engaging here myself really cool i see that there's some live versions this was a live version just not with him on stage it sounded like at least to me um so let me know man hopefully you guys enjoyed this one let me know if i should do some more and i think i need to tap into uh the i don't know if the name is cat in the cradle but that song um like i said i know i've heard at least that chorus part i can't remember it word for word but i know the jingle kind of uh so i should tap into that one and see what the story is being told there because this was ab absolutely uh smashing can i say smashing that's not a typical word i use but that's what it made me want to say right now this is a smashing hit guys uh yeah so thank you for tuning in here today hopefully you enjoyed my ride right here right now man i enjoyed that a lot and if y'all did please don't forget like subscribe check out the description for other ways you could help the channel down below man with that being said i'm gone see you guys on the next one peace